I retain simultaneously by, by for theta and for theta transpose. And uh, there's also known that, that, that for almost all theta, we have this equality. And uh, this equality is uh, very well connected with the notion of bad, bad possibilities. Bad possibilities. Uh, anyway, uh, the matrix can, can be called multiplicatively badly approximable if the following product is going to go from zero. So here we have the product of n uh, numbers and uh, the n through the statement here. So we uh, so for, we raise it to the power n. And here we have the m through, so we raise it to the power m. And uh, this is quite natural. Uh, Perfect should be bounded away from zero. Uh, so, what what is known about this bad bad possibility? It is known that uh, measures theta and uh, and its transposed uh, measures are simultaneous multiple bad bad parts. It was known for 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 a particular case and uh, it's proved in this paper that we were talking about for. Uh, Transparency uh, inequality for uh, for the converse problem. It, it, it looks uh, exactly the same, um, and it generalizes the, the even more classical Kinchin transference uh, uh, principle. So it appears that, that uh, this uh, transference inequality holds for for multiple exponents as well. The same inequality we have for uh, the uniform multiplicative exponents. And it, it, it uh, is uh, an exact analog of, of the corresponding result of, of, of Atlantic uh, proofs for uh, uniform different exponents for the convex set. Anyway, uh, if this inequality is, uh, in some sense, sharp, it, it cannot be improve the problem without the problems to see, not, not using algorithms. Uh, then uh, this one, we do not know whether, whether it is sharper or not, at least in the non-multiplicative uh, case, we have the following very nice uh, equality, which uh, connects uh, uh, uniform exponents for theta and theta transpose, but in this in this very uh, small dimensional case. And for ar arbitrary dimension, uh, we also have certain inequalities. Uh, they, they are for, for the non-multiplicative different exponents. And the question here in this in this context is: uh, Can we prove any? Uh, any relations of, of this kind, maybe or of, of this kind, or, or, even, or even of this kind, or even any relation which would improve upon uh, this this inequality, which would hold for multiplicative uh, event exponents. This is enough. Okay. Now comes the case of uh, when when we have uh, when when the number of Linear forms is equal to the dimension of the space. Uh, we immediately get the following very natural lattice, right? Uh, and uh, uh, we can try to define some kind of uh, a lattice exponent, um, analog of regular exponent. And uh, if we um, take a look. This inequality and ask for 
such gamblers that this only has infinite solutions in the world of non zero. that this inequality has infinite solutions and we form our legislative Sides. So we'll take a look at, we're, we're, we're interested in, in the volumes of these boxes. Then uh, uh, what is said here, <coughs> in this, this oh, oh, here, the uh, might be something that should be explained in some terminology. Uh, so here, for, for each hyperbolic shift, what is a hyperbolic shift? It's, a, it's just, a, it can be understood as a matrix. Dental matrix uh, with positive entries on the main, on the main diagonal, but let us suppose that its determinant is equal to one. And uh, here's a storm, so say the, the maximum of, of Thank you. 
So this trivial inequality allows us to uh, estimate the multiple input exponents uh, from below with, with the complex ones. And uh, thus we know that there are 
single systems. There are these for which alpha is strictly larger than one over n. And therefore, this equality, it follows that alpha m, the multiplicative uniform exponent, is strictly larger than, than, than one over m. And then it uh, easily implies uh, that, that uh, the corresponding lengths uh, <coughs> and algorithm of more than constant equals because uh, those points, those products, they tend to their lengths of is equal to zero. While, once again, obviously for this case, uh, the usual more than constant is equal to zero because we have this, the slices of these points can be very small. We have uh, a d minus one dimensional uh, integer lattice, z to the d minus one, and we have uh, uh, layers of algorithmic lambda parallel to this d minus one dimensional layer. And uh, here's this central layer, and these two layers they they get shifted like this. So uh, if there was a unit cube. And it, and it was empty with respect to the uh, initial integer lattice, z to the d. Then for this lattice lambda, it will, it will still be empty. But if the for definition for a small and for a small dense construction, we have another definition of kappa. It is not lattice kappa. It is not lattice kappa. Kappa is not lattice constant. Not for lattice, but for a of one direction. Uh, if, uh, no, no, if uh, it's linear form. So you have to give linear form. One we'll linear form. We'll take this lattice. And if uh, the diagonal matrix has a large, if, if any of, of the first d, d minus one, uh, entries is large, then the corresponding uh, image of the unit box will have to contain an integer point in its, uh, in its interior. Right? Uh, so to obtain an empty box, we have to make these d minus 1 quantities small and, uh, and the last one large. So actually, yes, uh, the non trivial dynamics. Uh, is along this one single line. So this is a, a bit less trivial example, which shows that, uh, well, yes, these two, two quantities uh, do different deep. And uh, if this quantity is human, then um, Then we can uh, think of it as of those empty boxes, uh, of volumes of those empty boxes tending to zero. And then we can uh, give a slightly different uh, definition of uh, this um, uniform exponent for, for our last time. We can demand that uh, the norm of, of our hyperbolic shift uh, is large. And then this exponent will be very closely connected uh, with the, the limits of analogous exponent constant. And of course, if uh, <coughs> the limits of analogous exponent constant is positive, then uh, this exponent is trivial. It's uh, zero. Right? So, Anyway, we already have all these exponents, alpha and beta, but, but for this lab, let's uh, So the initial question is, are there any transfer components for, for beta and alpha? So, I mean, the ones that will connect uh, these quantities for our last lab, and it's equal labs. to 
expect that the algebraic lists uh, would have this constant less than one. Um, and as far as I understand, in, in, in Alpiner's paper, it, it was proved with, with certain restrictions for the, for the lists. And, and the most gen general sense. You just stated it as obvious. Well, yeah, but, but there, there is something that, well, this missing is not that obvious. Anyway, uh, it's quite natural because uh, what is algebraic? In, in the algebraic case, we have a very nice group of automorphisms of, of our lattice. It is uh, 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 isomorphic to z to the d minus 1, and uh, each isomorphism is uh, actually a hyperbolic shift. And the group of these automorphisms is um, as it acts uh, on our um, uh, RD, uh, the fundamental domain is, uh, we'll say, a common cone. So if we look at what, what goes on in this common cone, then there will be actually only a finite, a, a finite number uh, of types of empty uh, boxes. So if each of these boxes from the spinal family is uh, not of the maximum volume, so if, if its volume is less than one, then it's okay. Then, then the sperm will be also less than one. So this fact is actually quite natural. It's, it's just it needs some some effort to show that that, that they are going to be the one. So it's uh, yeah, it's obvious. And still, are there any other lattices with this property? Um, let's notice that, that uh, this inequality uh, from, from some point of view means exactly that the Dirichlet theory can be improved. What do I mean? I mean that here we have some, some lattices. And we look at such boxes. And, uh, the, uh, the statement is that we can step away from one and say that every box of, of the volume one so minus epsilon of this guy with faces parallel to the coordinate contains at least one uh, nice one. Uh, and it is also known that uh, the property of one number uh, that the Dirichlet theorem can be improved for this number is equivalent to the property of this number to badly possible. So um, an actual question arises. So here's this fact. Uh, how can we generalize this property of the of, of an repeated to be badly proximate? One of uh, the most natural ways to do it is to consider well, if we have a lattice to, to deal with, uh, then we can consider uh, the product of the coordinates of um, the points of this letter, of the And uh, take the infimum of, of this product. 
So the d power over here is because y of v is the d root of the of, of the product. So here we have uh, here we just have the product of absolute values of uh, the products. And here we also have the uh, product of uh, coordinates of some <coughs> points. We have a lot of Exactly the area of this parallelogram. And obviously, it's, uh, it's this very thing for the final glasses. So, for natural question, which I have at first, I guess, here from the brain, uh, is whether it's true or not. is called Well, uh, the meaning of it is some integer volume. 
volume. So volume of, of, of some integer Thank you. 